first brahmana there was formerly the proud gargaya balaki a man of great reading he said to ajatasatru of kasi shall i tell you brahman ajatasatru said we give a thousand cows for that speech of yours for verily all people run away saying janaka the king of mithila is our patron gargaya said the person that is in the sun that i adore as brahman agathasatru said to him no no do not speak to me on this i adore him verily as the supreme the head of all beings the king whoso adores him thus becomes supreme the head of all beings a king gargaya said the person that is in the moon and in the mind that i adore as brahman ajatasatru said to him no no do not speak to me on this i adore him verily as the great clad in white raiment as soma the king whoso adores him thus soma is poured out and poured forth for him day by day and his food does not fail gargaya said the person that is in the lightning and in the heart that i adore as brahman ajatrasatru said to him no no do not speak to me on this i adore him verily as the luminous who so adores him thus becomes luminous and his offspring becomes luminous gargaya said the person that is in the ether and in the ether of the heart that i adore as brahman ajatasatru said to him no no do not speak to me on this i adore him as what is full and quiescent who so adores him thus becomes filled with offspring and cattle and his offspring does not cease from this world gargaya said the person that is in the mind and in the breath that i adore as brahman ajatasatru said to him no no do not speak to me on this i adore him as indra vaikuntha as the unconquerable army of the maruts who so adores him thus becomes victorious unconquerable conquering his enemies gargaya said the person that is in the fire and in the heart that i adore as brahman ajatasatru said to him no no do not speak to me on this i adore him as powerful who so adores him thus becomes powerful and his offspring becomes powerful gargaya said the person that is in the water in seed and in the heart that i adore as brahman ajatasatru said to him no no do not speak to me on this i adore him as likeness who so adores him thus to him comes what is likely or proper not what is improper what is born from him is like unto him gargaya said the person that is in the mirror that i adore as brahman ajatasatru said to him no no do not speak to me on this i adore him verily as the brilliant who so adores him thus he becomes brilliant his offspring becomes brilliant and with whomsoever he comes together he outshines them gargaya said the sound that follows a man while he moves that i adore as brahman ajatasatru said to him no no do not speak to me on this i adore him verily as life who so adores him thus he reaches his full age in this world breath does not leave him before the time gargaya said the person that is in space that i adore as brahman ajatasatru said to him no no do not speak to me on this i adore him verily as the second who never leaves us 
whoso adores him thus becomes possessed of a second his party is not cut off from him gargaya said the person that consists of the shadow that i adore as brahman ajatasatru said to him no no do not speak to me on this i adore him verily as death whoso adores him thus he reaches his whole age in this world death does not approach him before the time gargaya said the person that is in the body that i adore as brahman ajatasatru said to him no no do not speak to me on this i adore him verily as embodied whoso adores him thus becomes embodied and his offspring becomes embodied then gargaya became silent ajatasatru said to him thus far only thus far only he replied ajatasatru said this does not suffice to know it the true brahman gargaya replied then let me come to you as a pupil ajatasatru said verily it is unnatural that a brahmana should come to a kshatriya hoping that he should tell him the brahman however i shall make you know him clearly thus saying he took him by the hand and rose and the two together came to a person who was asleep he called him by these names thou great one clad in white raiment soma king he did not rise then rubbing him with his hand he woke him then he arose ajatasatru said when this man was thus asleep where was then the person purusha the intelligent and from whence did he thus come back gargaya did not know this ajatasatru said when this man was thus asleep then the intelligent person purusha having through the intelligence of the senses pranas absorbed within himself all intelligence lies in the ether which is in the heart when he takes in these different kinds of intelligence then it is said that the man sleeps swapti then the breath is kept in speech is kept in the ear is kept in the eye is kept in the mind is kept in but when he moves about in sleep and dream then these are his worlds he is as it were a great king he is as it were a great brahmana he rises as it were and he falls and as a great king might keep in his own subjects and move about according to his pleasure within his own domain thus does that person who is endowed with intelligence keep in the various senses pranas and move about according to his pleasure within his own body while dreaming next when he is in profound sleep and knows nothing there are the 72000 arteries called hita which from the heart spread through the body through them he moves forth and rests in the surrounding body and as a young man or a great king or a great brahmana having reached the summit of happiness might rest so does he then rest as the spider comes out with its thread or as small sparks come forth from fire thus do all senses all worlds all devas all beings come forth from that self the upanishad the true name and doctrine of that self is the true of the true verily the senses or the true and he is the true of the true second brahmana 
verily he who knows the babe with his place his chamber his post and his robe he keeps off the seven relatives who ate him verily by the young is meant to the inner life by his place this body by his chamber this head by his post the vital breath by his robe the food then the seven imperishable ones approach him there are the red lines in the eye and by them rudra clings to him there is the water in the eye and by it parjanya clings to him there is the pupil and by it aditya sun clings to him there is the dark iris and by it agni clings to him there is the white eyeball and by it indra clings to him with the lower eyelash the earth with the upper eyelash the heaven clings to him he who knows this his food does never perish on this there is this sloka there is a cup having its mouth below and its bottom above manifold glory has been placed into it on its lip sit the seven rishis the tongue as the eighth communicates with brahman what is called the cup having its mouth below and its bottom above is this head for its mouth the mouth is below its bottom the skull is above when it is said that manifold glory has been placed into it the senses verily or manifold glory and he therefore means the senses when he says that the seven rishis sit on its lip the rishis or verily the active senses and he means the senses and when he says that the tongue as the eighth communicates with brahman it is because the tongue as the eighth does communicate with brahman these two the two years are the rishis gautama and bharadvaja the right gautama the left bharadvaja these two the eyes are the rishis viswamitra and gamadagni the right viswamitra the left gamadagni these two the nostrils are the rishis vasishta and kasyapa the right vasishta and the left kasyapa the tongue is atri for with the tongue food is eaten and atri is meant for atti eating he who knows this becomes an eater of everything and everything becomes his food third brahmana there are two forms of brahman the material and the immaterial the moral and the immoral the solid and the fluid sat being and tya that that is sat tya true everything except air and sky is material is mortal is solid is definite the essence of that which is material which is mortal which is solid which is definite is the sun that shines for he is the essence of sat the definite but air and sky or immaterial or immortal or fluid or indefinite the essence of that which is immaterial which is immortal which is fluid which is indefinite is the person in the disk of the sun for he is the essence of tayad the indefinite so far with regard to the devas now with regard to the body everything except the breath and the ether within the body is material is mortal is solid is definite the essence of that which is material which is mortal which is solid which is definite is the eye for it is the essence of sat the definite but breath and the ether within the body or immaterial or immortal or fluid or indefinite the essence of that which is immaterial which is immortal which is fluid which is indefinite is the person in the right eye for he is the essence of the tired the indefinite
and what is the appearance of that person like a saffron colored raiment like white wool like cochineal like the flame of fire like the white lotus like sudden lightning he who knows this his glory is like unto sudden lightning next follows the teaching of brahman by no no for there is nothing else higher than this if one says it is not so then comes the name the true of the true the senses being the true and he the brahman the true of them fourth brahmana now when yajna valkya was going to enter upon another state he said my three verily i am going away from my house into the forest forsooth let me make a settlement between thee and kathyayini my other wife my three said my lord if this whole earth full of wealth belonged to me tell me should i be immortal by it no replied yajna valkya like the life of rich people will be thy life but there is no hope of immortality by wealth and my three said what should i do with that by which i do not become immortal what my lord knoweth of immortality tell that to me yajna valkya replied thou who art truly dear to me thou speakest dear words come sit down i will explain it to thee and mark well what i say and he said verily a husband is not dear that you may love the husband but that you may love the self therefore a husband is dear verily a wife is not dear that you may love the wife but that you may love the self therefore a wife is dear verily sons are not dear that you may love the sons but that you may love the self therefore sons are dear verily wealth is not dear that you may love wealth but that you may love the self therefore wealth is dear verily the brahman class is not dear that you may love the brahman class but that you may love the self therefore the brahman class is dear verily the kshatra class is not dear that you may love the kshatra class but that you may love the self therefore the kshatra class is dear verily the worlds are not dear that you may love the worlds but that you may love the self therefore the worlds are dear verily the devas are not dear that you may love the devas but that you may love the self therefore the devas are dear verily creatures are not dear that you may love the creatures but that you may love the self therefore are creatures dear verily everything is not dear that you may love everything but that you may love the self therefore everything is dear verily this self is to be seen to be heard to be perceived to be marked o oh, my three when we see hear perceive and know the self then all this is known whosoever looks for the brahman class elsewhere than in the self was abandoned by the brahman class whosoever looks for the kshatra class elsewhere than in the self was abandoned by the kshatra class whosoever looks for the worlds elsewhere than in the self was abandoned by the worlds whosoever looks for the devas elsewhere than in the self was abandoned by the devas whosoever looks for creatures elsewhere than in the self was abandoned by the creatures whosoever looks for anything elsewhere than in the self 
was abandoned by everything this brahman class this kshatra class these worlds these devas these creatures this everything all is that self now as the sounds of a drum when beaten cannot be seized externally by themselves but the sound is seized when the drum is seized or the beater of the drum and as the sounds of a conch shell when blown cannot be seized externally by themselves but the sound is seized when the shell is seized or the blower of the shell and as the sounds of a lute when played cannot be seized externally by themselves but the sound is seized when the lute is seized or the player of the lute as clouds of smoke proceed by themselves out of a lighted fire kindled with damp fuel thus verily o maitri has been breathed forth from this great being what we have as rig veda yajur veda sama veda adarvangi rasas itihasa legends purana cosmogonies vidya knowledge the upanishads slokas verses sutras prose rules anuvakyanas glosses vyakyanas commentaries from him alone all these were breathed forth as all waters find their center in the sea all touches in the skin all tastes in the tongue all smells in the nose all colors in the eye all sounds in the ear all percepts in the mind all knowledge in the heart all actions in the hands all movements in the feet and all the vedas in speech as a lump of salt when thrown into water becomes dissolved into water and could not be taken out again but whatever we taste the water it is salt thus verily o my three does this great being endless unlimited consisting of nothing but knowledge rise from out these elements and vanish again in them when he has departed there is no more knowledge name i say o maitri thus spoke yajna valkya then maitri said here thou hast bewildered me sir when thou sayest that having departed there is no more knowledge but yajna valkya replied o maitri i say nothing that is bewildering this is enough o beloved for wisdom for when there is as it were duality then one sees the other one smells the other one hears the other one salutes the other one perceives the other one knows the other but when the self only is all this how should he smell another how should he see another how should he hear another how should he salute another how should he perceive another how should he know another how should he know him by whom he knows all this how o oh beloved should he know himself the knower fifth brahmana this earth is the honey madhu the effect of all beings and all beings are the honey madhu the effect of this earth likewise this bright immortal person in this earth and that bright immortal person incorporated in the body both are madhu he indeed is the same as that self that immortal that brahman that all this water is the honey of all beings and all beings are the honey of this water likewise this bright immortal person in this water and that bright immortal person existing as seed in the body both are madhu he indeed is the same as that self that immortal that brahman that all this fire is the honey of all beings 
and all beings are the honey of this fire likewise this bright immortal person in this fire and that bright immortal person existing as speech in the body both are madhu he indeed is the same as that self that immortal that brahman that all this air is the honey of all beings and all beings are the honey of this air likewise this bright immortal person in this air and that bright immortal person existing as breath in the body both are madhu he indeed is the same as that self that immortal that brahman that all this sun is the honey of all beings and all beings are the honey of this sun likewise this bright immortal person in the sun and that bright immortal person existing as the i in the body both are madhu he indeed is the same as that self that immortal that brahman that all this space thisa the quarters is the honey of all beings and all beings are the honey of this space likewise this bright immortal person in this space and that bright immortal person existing as the ear in the body both are madhu he indeed is the same as that self that immortal that brahman that all this moon is the honey of all beings and all beings are the honey of this moon likewise this bright immortal person in this moon and that bright immortal person existing as mind in the body both are madhu he indeed is the same as that self that immortal that brahman that all this lightning is the honey of all beings and all beings are the honey of this lightning likewise this bright immortal person in this lightning and that bright immortal person existing as light in the body both are madhu he indeed is the same as that self that immortal that brahman that all this thunder is the honey of all beings and all beings or the honey of this thunder likewise this bright immortal person is this thunder and that bright immortal person existing as sound and voice in the body both are madhu he indeed is the same as that self that immortal that brahman that all this ether is the honey of all beings and all beings are the honey of this ether likewise this bright immortal person in this ether and that bright immortal person existing as heart ether in the body both are madhu he indeed is the same as that self that immortal that brahman that all this law dharma is the honey of all beings and all beings are the honey of this law likewise this bright immortal person in this law and that bright immortal person existing as law in the body both are madhu he indeed is the same as that self that immortal that brahman that all this true satyam is the honey of all beings and all beings are the honey of this true likewise this bright immortal person in what is true and what bright immortal person existing as the true in the body both are madhu he indeed is the same as that self that immortal that brahman that all this mankind is the honey of all beings and all beings are the honey of this mankind likewise this bright immortal person in mankind and that bright immortal person existing as man in the body both are madhu he indeed is the same as that self that immortal that brahman that all this self is the honey of all beings and all beings are the honey of this self likewise this bright immortal person in this self and that bright immortal person the self both are madhu he indeed is the same as that self that immortal that brahman that all and verily this self is the lord of all beings the king of all beings 
and as all spokes are contained in the axle and in the felly of a wheel all beings and all those selves of earth water etc are contained in that self verily dadyak atharvana proclaimed this honey the madhu vidya to the two aswins and a rishi seeing this said o ye two heroes aswins i make manifest that fearful deed of yours which you performed for the sake of gain like a thunder makes manifest the rain the honey madhu vidya which dadyak atharvana proclaimed to you through the head of a horse verily dadyak atharvana proclaimed this honey to the two aswins and a rishi seeing this said o aswins you fixed a horse's head on atharvana dadyak and he wishing to be true to his promise proclaimed to you the honey both that of tavastri and that which is to be your secret o ye strong ones verily dadyak atharvana proclaimed this honey to the two aswins and a rishi seeing this said he the lord made bodies with two feet he made bodies with four feet having first became a bird he entered the bodies as purusha as the person this very purusha is in all bodies the purushya that is he who lives in the body and is therefore called purusha there is nothing that is not covered by him nothing that is not filled by him verily dadyak atharvana proclaimed this honey to the two aswins and a rishi seeing this said he the lord became like unto every form and this is meant to reveal the true form of him the atman indra the lord appears multiform through the mayas appearances and the horses senses are yoked hundreds and ten this atman is the horses this atman is the ten and the thousands many and endless this is the brahman without cause and without effect without anything inside or outside this self is brahman omnipresent and omniscient this is the teaching of the upanishads sixth brahmana pautimashya from gaupavana gaupavana from pautimashya pautimashya from gaupavana gaupavana from kaushika kaushika from kaundinya kaundinya from sandilya sandilya from kaushika and gautama gautama from agnivesya agnivesya from sandilya and anabhimlata sandilya and anabhimlata from anabhimlata anabhimlata from anabhimlata anabhimlata from gautama gautama from saitava and prachina yogya saitava and prachina yogya from parasarya parasarya from baradwaja baradwaja from baradwaja and gautama gautama from baradwaja baradwaja from parasarya parasarya from vaijava payana vaijava payana from kaushikayini kaushikayini from grita kaushika grita kaushika from parasarayana parasarayana from parasarya parasarya from gautikaranya gautikaranya from asurayana and yaksha asurayana and yaksha from trivani trivani from anupajandhani anupajandhani from asuri asuri from baradwaja baradwaja 
from aitreya aitreya from manti manti from gautama gautama from gautama gautama from vatsya vatsya from sandilya sandilya from kaisorya kapya kaisorya kapya from kumara harita kumara harita from galva galva from vidarbi kaundinya vidarbi kaundinya from vatsanapath bhabrava vatsanapath bhabrava from pati saubra pati saubra from ayasa angirasa ayasa angirasa from abuti twastra abuti twastra from visvarupa twastra visvarupa twastra from aswinu aswinu from dadhyak atharvana dadhyak atharvana from atharvan daiva atharvan daiva from mrityu pradavavamsna mrityu pradavavamsna from pradavavamsna pradavamsna from ekrasi ekrasi from viprakiti viprakiti from vyashti vyashti from sanaru sanaru from sanatana sanatana from sanaga sanaga from prameshthin prameshthin from brahman brahman is swayambhu self existent adoration to brahman end of second adhyaya